Welcome to our RV comparison here at Avalon RV Center. And today we're gonna go over these three amazing family bunk houses, all under 26 feet. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. First up, we're gonna take a look at the Forest River Salem Cruise Light 263 BHXL, and this unit is a beauty. As you can see from the front, this thing is gonna look great running down the road, and it's gonna even look better because these graphics aren't the ones that you'll get on the new units coming forward. They're putting brand new graphics that even look better, so your cruise light will look even better than it does as it sits here today. Up front, you'll also notice a nice big power tongue jack, so very easy to load this RV onto your unit. You push a button, you're not cranking anything up, makes your life very simple. We also have a nice battery disconnect, so if you're at the campgrounds and you need to disconnect those batteries, all you do is flip that switch and you're rolling. Right up front, we have a nice big pass-through storage, so you have plenty of room for your gear, your goodies, and anything that you wanna bring. You'll notice we have a nice big awning to hang out underneath of. So while we're out here using our outdoor kitchen and enjoying the festivities, we're gonna have a nice big awning to hang out and get some shade. You'll notice the solid step here, which is awesome because you can literally bounce on these steps and you don't feel it in the RV because it's just a much better step. So the solid step system here in the Salem Cruise Light is a must when you're looking at steps. We'll look at our outdoor kitchen here. You'll notice we do have our cooktop, we have our sink, and we have our mini fridge. So we have everything we need out here to put some drinks, have some fun, make some food, and really have a fantastic time out front. In addition to that, we have built-in outdoor Bluetooth speakers so we can be playing the music we want to listen to and really having a fun time with our family and friends at the campground. You'll notice in the back of this RV, it does have the double door. So if you have a lot of friends and family over and you don't want them tracking mud and all of that stuff through your RV and they need to use the restroom, you send them to the back door, they use the restroom, they come right back outside and they're not tracking all that mud, that dirt, that grass, all of that stuff that you don't want on the inside of your cruise light. Let's take a look inside. Here we are on the inside of the Salem Cruise Light and you can see it's just as beautiful inside as it is outside. You'll notice the nice big double bunks and this is what makes it a nice family bunk unit under 26 feet because you get the nice big comfortable double bed. So adults, kids, they can fit in these beds comfortably and it makes a good time for the family and friends. Back here, we have our restroom. This does have a tub in it, so if you have some smaller kids you like to give baths to, you can definitely do it here. I'm roughly 5'9", so you can see how much room we have here in the shower. Not the biggest shower you've ever seen, but it gets the job done. And then in addition, we have our door to the outside. So if we want to go outside directly from the bathroom, it is very easy to do. We also have our foot flush here on the toilet, so very easy to use the toilet, very easy to use the bathroom. We have our medicine cabinet here, so for your toothpaste, medicines, whatever you're bringing, there's room for you to store it. Over here is our big U-Booth dinette, and you'll notice we can fit a good amount of people around this U-Booth. That's again, another one of those nice features when you're looking at a family camping unit, because if we have a good amount of people with us, playing cards, eating, whatever the case is, we need a good sized table for everybody to sit, hang out, talk, um, and all of that good stuff at. So this has the big nice U-Booth. This will turn into a bed that will typically sleep to adults. So very comfortable sleeping area and very functional for a lot of people. You'll notice we have a nice big pantry here right next to our fridge. So you can bring a lot of food, a lot of goodies, a lot of drinks. We have plenty of room for you to store it. 
We have the bigger fridge freezer combo here. So again, we have a lot of people with us since this is a bunkhouse, our family and friends are coming. We have a bigger fridge so that we can store all of those extra food, all of the extra drinks that we're gonna be bringing on our trip. You have a good amount of counter space here and we have some very beautiful counters. They give you the sink cover as well. So if you need some more counter space, down the road you just cover your sink and you have a little bit more counter space so a decent amount of counter space here in the 263 bhxl we also have our stove top with our glass cover which creates more counter space for you and then it does have an oven in here as well so if you do some oven cooking you can do that here in the 263. we have our nice sofa sleeper here this jackknife into a sleeper so if you need some extra sleeping space you have your sofa sleeper and it's a very comfortable unit. Nice big spot for a television that can be mounted here. We do have a fireplace, so if you're camping in colder months, it will kick out heat. It looks awesome, and it's just a very nice entertainment station right up front. Head into the master bedroom, and you're gonna notice a nice big RV queen. We have hanging area on both sides of the bed for your clothes and your goodies. And then we also have chargers and outlets on both sides of the bed so that if you have some phones, alarm clocks, um, CPAP machines, whatever you may have, there is power and outlets here in the bedroom. So as you can tell, this 263 is loaded with uh, features and benefits for you. And it's weighing in roughly around 5,700 pounds. So a very lightweight, and good bunkhouse for you and your family. Next up is our Forest River Surveyor 240 BHLE. And as you can tell from the very front, this thing is beautiful. We have a nice fiberglass front cap that looks great. So as you're pulling this thing down the road, you're definitely gonna turn some heads. We have our power tongue jack right up front, so we're not cranking this bad boy up. Very easy to load onto our tow vehicle. We don't have the battery disconnect up front like we have in the cruise light, but still very beautiful front side here on the Surveyor. We come right around, we have a nice big storage door, a little bit bigger than the cruise light. And just like the cruise light, they use the magnetic uh, clips or magnetic little things here that keeps the door open. It's a lot nicer than having those plastic clips. So I love when people use or when RV companies use the magnets for the storage doors because it makes life a lot easier you'll notice we have the three step and the solid step here so as we bounce on this as we walk in and out it's not swaying and bouncing on an rv so very solid steps a lot nicer than some of those old rv steps that you'll see that really kind of feel weak as you're walking in your unit nice big awning this awning is a, almost the whole size of the rv so it's going to give us plenty of you know shade and coverage here in the front of the unit so when we're having our cookouts and hanging out with our family and friends, we have plenty of room to do it here under the Surveyor awning. This is a fiberglass unit, so you'll notice it's a flat-sided unit, looks very clean, looks very beautiful, and it does have the Asdell backer. So the Asdell backer, they say it will not delam. So if you have a fiberglass unit, you have to, well, I believe that you have to have that Asdell backer because delamination is one of the things you never wanna happen in a fiberglass unit. The Surveyor has that Asdell. You'll notice we also have our outdoor speaker so we can play the music we wanna to listen to while we're out here jamming with our family and friends and having the cookout we wanna have. Outdoor kitchen, so we got a place to cook our burgers, our steaks, our food, whatever we're bringing. We have our sink. We have our mini fridge for our drinks and whatever we're drinking on. So we have plenty of things out here on the Surveyor that really add to our camping experience. So let's jump inside. So here we are back in the bunkhouse of this Surveyor. And as you can tell, we do have the double bunks and the bigger bunk set up in the Surveyor. So that is nice because adults and kids can sleep in it without being all cramped up. You also have privacy curtains on the bunks, so while you're sleeping, you can have a little bit of privacy while you're up there. We'll jump in the bathroom, take a look. You notice the good size bathroom. We don't have the tub like we have in the cruise light, we be, but we have a little bit more headspace here for taking a shower. So we have a good size bathroom, a good size shower, 
no tub, but still a very usable, very solid bathroom. We have the, the, our toilet here with our foot flush as well. So very easy to flush, very easy to use. We have our medicine cabinet, our running water. So we have place for our toiletries and all of those good things that we need here in the bathroom. You'll see we have our double door fridge, freezer fridge combo, which is a little bit bigger than some of the RV fridges you see out there. But I think the cruise lights fridge is, edges it just a little bit. So we have a nice big fridge freezer combo here. A good amount of counter space. You'll notice we have a counter um, a, a stove top cover here on this. So if we need more counter space, we can utilize our cover to get that counter space back. We have a spot for our trash can, which is pretty nice. So we have a spot to put all of our trash. You just simply lift off this cover and replace it whenever you're done throwing your trash in there. So that's a nice extra feature there. We'll jump to the U-Booth. A little bit smaller than the Cruise Light, but still fit a decent amount of people around this and it will turn into a good size bed if you need some extra sleeping area. Um, so this is a good size U-Booth um, and it provides you with a good place for you to eat play cards, and really just hang out with the family. You'll notice this unit is the Murphy bed unit. So you'll see up front we have our sofa, which is a very comfortable sofa sleeper. So if you have some people here and you want to use a sofa sleeper, you can do that. Um, but then also we have our bed. So we make it very easy to utilize a full size bed here in the Murphy bed setup. Um, check out how easy that was. So benefit of this is we have a 24 foot unit that is a little bit lighter but still has a full size bed and a full size sofa in the same unit so that is nice having the nerf the murphy bed addition we have our entertainment our tv directly above our kitchen here right across from our booth dinette so we have good viewing angles from our booth dinette here to the television so as you can tell, this 240 has a lot of bells and whistles and is one of those very solid floor plans that you wanna take a look at if you're looking to go camping with your family and friends. Last on the list is the Shasta Oasis 26BH. And if you've been in the RV industry or camping for a while, then you've definitely heard of the Shasta Oasis name. As you can see right on the logo, established 1941. And that's because Shasta has been making the Oasis for quite some time and they're a very popular and trendy name in the RV industry. Right up front you'll notice we do have a manual tongue jack so you will have to work out that arm a little bit to get it up onto your tow vehicle but when it comes to price point not many people can beat the Shasta Oasis. Right up front we have a nice big storage compartment so you have plenty of room for your gear, your goodies, whatever else you're going to bring. Unfortunately they are using the plastic clip Still in the Shasta Oasis, unlike in the, in the cruise light or the surveyor that we saw, they're using the magnets. Um, but nonetheless, as I said, you're gonna get a better price point on the Shasta, so it's not a huge deal that they're using the plastic clips. We'll keep going around. We do have our double step here, so more of your traditional size or traditional style travel trailer steps where you can kind of feel the RV move as you step in. So not as sturdy of a step, but still, gets the job done and gets you in and out of your RV. We have a nice big awning, our LED awning lights. So when we're out camping and having fun with our friends, we're gonna have plenty of shaded area underneath the awning to have a good time. We also have our outdoor speakers so we can play the music we wanna listen to and really jam out and have fun with our family and friends. You'll also notice that we have an outdoor kitchen and one of the cool things about this outdoor kitchen, we have our water, we have our mini fridge, and look at this. We spill some coffee on our table. It's very easy to clean up because they use a metal uh, countertop here. So coffee, spills, things are very easy to clean up. If you have a sham wow, it might even be easier, but check that out. Pretty awesome countertop they have here in the Shasta Oasis. Let's take a look on the inside. Here we are in the bunkhouse of the Shasta Oasis 26BH. And you'll notice we have the do, we do have the nice double bunks. So we have a little bit more room. We don't have our privacy curtain here, which, you know, who knows, is that a big deal? Maybe for some, maybe for others it's not. So we do have our double bunks, which I think is the biggest deal because you can fit adults and kids nonetheless in those bunks. 
We'll jump in the bathroom here. No tub in the Oasis, so the cruise light's the only one with the tub, but you have a good size shower. Again, I'm 5'9", so you got a little bit of headspace here in the shower. So good size shower and bathroom here. We have our toilet again with our foot flush. So very easy to use toilet. We have our medicine cabinet in here. So for our toothpaste, our shampoos, whatever we're bringing, we have places to store that. Here in the Shasta Oasis, it is the only RV we've shown you today that does not have a slide. So you can tell it's a little bit tighter here on the inside, but you don't have a slide or an extra mechanism to worry about. So some like not having a slide because they don't wanna worry about the leaks and they don't wanna worry about the mechanics that come along with a slide. You notice here we have our booth dinette. This is turned into a bed right now, so you can see you can fit one adult, usually maybe two kids here on this booth di or on this dinette, um, so a little bit smaller than some of the other units. We have our nice sofa sleeper over here, so this will jackknife into a couch or into a sofa sleeper, so if we have some extra friends or family coming along, we do have some extra sleeping space and our TV goes right along there. So we have good viewing angles um, right above the dinette there for our television. Here in the kitchen, you'll notice we do have um, nice countertops here. They're seamless countertops. So water's not gonna get in that seam and expand that counter. So you have nice countertops here in the Oasis and you have a nice big sink that plenty of dishes, pots, pans, whatever you need to clean will fit in there so you can actually clean the dishes in your RV. We'll jump in the master bedroom here and you'll notice we have a nice RV queen. We have hanging uh, storage on either side of the bed. We have some kind of uh, night, uh, nightstand space, if you will, right next to the bed that also has outlets. So if you have phones, alarm clocks, anything that you need to bring, you have power in the master bedroom here in the Shasta Oasis. So even though we don't have a slide, this is a great unit, especially for the price. Now that you saw this RV comparison, we want to hear from you on which one you think is the best. When it comes at the best price point, the Shasta Oasis takes it away. When you're looking at clean looks and luxury, we think the surveyor might edge it just a little bit, but when it comes to best bang for your buck and best unit out of these three great RVs, we think the Salem Cruise Light 263BHXL takes the gold. Reason for that is you have two doors so you can go into the front or into the back. You have 26 foot floor plan so you have more space on the inside. You have a nice big slide so you're getting even more room on the inside of the bunkhouse. You're also getting power tongue jack, power awning, LED awning lights, solid step, and all of the bells and whistles that you could ask for in the Salem Cruise Light 263BHXL. So that is why we think the Cruise Light takes the winner out of these three 26 foot travel trailer bunkhouses. But again, let us hear what you think. Comment on this video, like our Facebook page, and go subscribe to our YouTube channel if you like this video and wanna see more down the road.